Guys, check this out. This thing is starting to look more and more aggressive. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2016 Lamborghini Huracan. And as you just seen, we did receive this big box. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. Must be something very delicate inside this crate, if you will. Dang, nicely packaged so far. Hopefully this little piece, or this big piece right here is undamaged because this was very expensive around 2,500 bucks or $2, so. $2,500, and uh, if you guys don't know what this is yet, this is our front windshield for our Lamborghini, and it is a brand new windshield. We did get a really good price from Exotic Auto Recycling. They hooked it up and uh, we're super excited. Now we did already schedule an appointment with Safe Flight. They're gonna come out here hopefully real soon to install this thing. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave it in the box. I'm sure it's in really good condition just the way it's packaged. So let's go ahead and get back on the Lamborghini. And what we're actually gonna do is swirl mark remove the entire car. You can't tell right now, but if you move this car out in the sunlight, there's gonna be swirls all over it. And that's just left behind by that wool pad that we use to buff the car. What we have here though is a nice ultra fine foam polishing pad and some swirl mark remove it perfected. This should eliminate all the swirls and this process is not going to take nearly as long as the buffing process so we're going to get straight to it and get rid of all the swirls. Finally guys, we got everything polished up, swirl mark removed, it's looking sharp. Now we're gonna move on to this driver's side door, install this mirror, install the handle, the door panel, and the glass. And once we install that glass, we're probably gonna pull it outside and give this thing a nice wash because we don't want none of this stuff just sticking on there because the longer it stays there, the harder it gets. So let's go ahead and get moving. Dude, that is legit. That is, that is awesome, dude. Check out the door panel. We got it all in finally. Haven't seen this thing like this in a long time. It's a, it's a little bit filthy, but we're gonna take care of that here real oh, yeah. soon. Definitely a little bit dirty, so. Now that we got this side fully assembled, we're gonna hop on the passenger side and completely assemble that door too. And then that'll probably be it for the interior, right? Yes, sir. I mean, the interior is just lacking that side door panel and then and a, a little cleanup. A little bit of a cleanup. But before we do any of that, we're gonna first install that side. And then we're actually gonna pull it outside and give this car a nice wash from all this uh, uh, buffing compound. We got to get rid of that as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and get that door panel on. Alright guys, so we got both door panels in, both mirrors in, the doors are completely finished. Now we're going to drop the car, pull it outside and give it a wash.
Man, oh man, look at that thing. Thing shining brighter than a diamond. That thing is like a glazed donut. Look at it. You could eat off this thing for sure. Man, you can lick that, man. That's how clean it is right You now. can ice skate on that, really. Definitely. I mean, I think if you would step right there, if you really uh, were <laughs> to step right there, you'd probably slide right down. Yeah, if like a bird pooped right there, it'd just slide right slide off. Slide right off. That'd be crazy. No caca on this thing. No caca. Look at all the tinted glasses. Dude, that it's looks really so good, good man. I'm so glad that the, the glass is tinted, dude. That looks epic. We might even tint the front glass. What do you think? Once we get one in there, we will. <laughs> Should we tint it before we install it? Yo, that's a good idea because it'd be a lot easier on the tinner guy. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, it'll be a lot easier all the way around because all they have to do is install it. You ain't got to reach up in there and tint the window, so. Man. What do you guys think? Should we tint that front windshield? Nothing illegal, but we might tint it. So, so let's yes. pull this thing into the garage and uh, inspect it even more. Hello, world. Hey there. <laughs> this thing man, is icy, I, I just can't get over it. Look at that. That finish came out so nice after all that polishing and buffing, all that wet color sanding. Dude, we got this thing perfect. I knew it was going to be worth it, dude. Dude, that thing looks amazing. And that then once you throw like some acrylic shine on it with the polisher, you could even do some kind of do some like, more crazy things here. Probably some kind of what do they call that stuff that they put on ceramic the, coat? Ceramic coat that thing, dude. I wonder if it's gonna make it even pop even more. I think it will. Dude, that's crazy. But enough of that. Let's pull this thing inside. And what do you think of installing this thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. We can install this rear uh, louver or bonnet latch, whatever you want. Latch. Let's go ahead and pull this thing inside and uh, install that louver. All righty guys, now that we got the car inside, it's looking really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the rear bonnet. What are you thinking, Thomas? Check this out, guys. The rear end is on, or the rear louver piece, or whatever Latch, you call it, bonnet. Whatever you want to call it, dude. This thing looks really good, dude. Haven't seen it in a while with the exposed engine. It did look good, but this mat, dude, just killed it, dude. Now that we got the exterior looking legit, we're gonna have to get that interior looking flawless as well, but we're gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. Next day here, let's go ahead and jump inside and detail this interior. It works. It works, makeshift. We, we need this little thin piece right here to get in the cracks, and this thing actually works. We rigged this thing up. Hey, actually, Sam rigged it up, so we appreciate it, man. That's some nice, oh, you a, uh, what was your engineer or something? He's an engineer, he's like crazy, that. man. Dude, this yeah. thing's sick. Let's keep We're on moving here. You get all these nice cracks and crevices. All right, so that interior is looking absolutely flawless. Man, I can't believe how well it looks. Everything cleaned up really nice. Let's walk around, let's walk inside and show you guys. Check out these door panels. Hooey, got the leather cleaner on that. Look at the seats though, man. Dang, this thing looks almost brand new in here. That's what I'm saying. We gotta keep it like that, man. We gotta keep it. The only thing that's gonna prevent us to keeping it from clean like this is that windshield missing. Yeah, and which that's actually coming in Wednesday. So guys, that'll be next week very soon. We'll have it installed by Safe Flight. For now, let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is gonna be probably painting the front bumper here, the little matte black areas. 
right there. So we're probably gonna head to the paint booth. What do you think? Yeah, I think we should uh, first sand it, get everything sanded, and then head straight to the paint booth and spray that thing matte black, and that'll be it for the front of the bumper. Then we can start piecing everything together. They're super excited, so let's get to it. The bumper is fully sanded, or the center sections right here and right here. Also, it's very tough because you got to tape it up. Oh yeah. Two times. Two times. Now we're ready to load it up on the truck, head to the paint booth, tape it up once again, and spray this thing matte black. We got that front bumper taped up, wax and grease removed. We're gonna mix up our paint. What kind of paint are we using? We're gonna use some nascent, and just some flat black paint. We're gonna just spray the base coat and that's it. We're not throwing any clear on it. I know there's a bunch of clears out there that turn into satin when you spray them, but it is Saturday and it's super late. We can't really get none of that today anyways. And I don't wanna throw clear coat on it because we're going with that satin look. I think yep. it'll look really great. So right now I'm about to mix up some satin black paint and spray that bumper in. Yep, and then afterwards, as you can see, there's a Jeep, and he's wearing his Jeep Junkies hat, because that's yep. my brother's Jeep, uh, Jeep right there that needs some paint work to it. We're gonna hook yep. him up. We're gonna help him out real quick, paint two doors, and uh, that's it. A pillar, it. and a pillar. Yeah, and a pillar, so it should be easy. Let's go ahead and spray this bumper in first, let it dry out, then we're gonna pull that Jeep in. Alrighty guys, we just finished painting. It's already dry, so we're gonna go ahead and untape this thing and set it outside. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so we got the front bumper painted, we got the Jeep painted, now we're gonna catch you guys back at the shop. Back at the shop, guys, we threw on that front bumper, check it out, dude, looks super aggressive, dude, that is legit. Looks sick. Looks way better, about a hundred times better. I'm glad we went. A thousand, dude. A thousand, I'm glad we went with this black, because yeah. now it's just this little angled, sharp, fins looking things, whatever you wanna call them, dude, they look super aggressive. Came out absolutely amazing. Love it, and the car is looking slick. Oh, but man. that's all that we're gonna do for tonight. We're actually, or actually, no, we're gonna open up fan mail because we're that's gonna... all we're gonna work on the car for yeah. tonight. But we got some fan mail for you guys. We try to do it every Sunday. Well, it's not Sunday, but we try to put out a video every Sunday with some fan mail because we're actually, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Let's do it. Let's open so, some up. Let's go quick because we got a ton of it. But you know, there's somebody out there watching that sent us something. This is the uh, the oldest. We got to put all these fan mails in categories because we get some fan mail from a long time ago. So let's go through this stuff. Let's, see what we got. Let's do it. Go for it, man. Go ahead. Flag. Let me guess. Flag. flag. Already. We flag. love it though. We love it. We love flag. If it's right. But is it a new flag? Is it a new flag that we don't have? Yeah. Ooh wee. That's sick, love man. It. Love it. That's awesome. Definitely gonna hang that up somewhere. A little one, open on video, of course. Perfect. What we got? We got some pop sockets. Oh, dude. perfect, dude. That's perfect for me because I'm always filming on the fly. 
and you know are these phone little shaky adhesives for the pop sockets i think there's a little note let's let's read the note real quick for you guys hi i'm tim and paul from fix bros fix bros send us uh, he's an og subscriber watch you guys since the house struck by lightning appreciate shout out there's a little gift in the package so thank you guys go check out fix bros they send us little pop sockets that's awesome guys thank you appreciate guys. it Let's see what else we got USB. What? That's sketchy. What's on the USB? Oh man. Let me see. I'm gonna hold on to this while he reads the mystery oh, letter. Oh my goodness. The long. Yeah, we're long, not gonna read it. We're, we're not, not. There's no we way can't, we're gonna we can't read, read, on, read this on on, on camera, camera. But definitely gonna read this off of camera because we want to go through the, through these as quick as possible. But we definitely read. Very these. interesting. We read all of them. As you can tell, we got we've been reading all these long letters. The ones some people even say don't read them on camera. So. We do. We we, read we listen to you guys. We listen to you guys. We read them while we're working. We see what's up. All the love is much appreciated. Let's see this. Our kids love watching your videos, and so do we. We are very happy to see your channel grow and all the hard work you guys do. Keep it up. My daughter, who is seven, love Thomas. Ooh, look at that. From Academy. Age seven. Oh, dang. Our comedy. That's sick right there. Seven years old. I've seen old. where they were from. I couldn't read it. Camden, North Carolina, age seven. That is awesome. Check that out. Goon Squad, simply built. Love That's it. legit. George from uh, New York. Let's see what George sent us. I'm gonna jump in here, speed things up a little bit. Oh, George got us a Lambo flag. Dude, we literally got like four of them already. I love it. And we got a GTR, GTR flag. flag. Dude, that, that is, is sick. That is legit. And we got, oh dang, we got a Mustang flag. That is sick. Never had a Mustang flag. So this is our, our first one that's gonna go up in the shop. That is legit. Let me read this letter right here. Love the channel. Always looking forward to the next video. Keep it up. Also the Viper Surprise to hang on your wall. Coming your way, Justin from Knoxville, Tennessee. What a Viper Surprise. It's a little package, but, oh dude, check this out. No. Oh, this is for the GTR. Oh, I'm but sorry. that is sick. That's definitely going on the GTR. Look at that. Let's see what we got in here, folks. That is so awesome. Hi, Goon Squad. Enjoy your gift from Jonathan Chavez. We Chavez. got Chavez. We got Hellcat. another Hellcat flag. And check this out. What do you got for our Hellcat keychain? Dude, dude that is legit. That's legit, yo. Check that out. Huge shout out to Jonathan. Hooked it up, brother. Check this out, guys. Beware of cat. <laughs> cat is contained by an invisible fence. Dude, that is crazy. That's definitely gonna get hung up probably that. on the front door when people Hold come that. in. I'm gonna read the letter. That is sick. I didn't even knew they even made stuff like hey, this. Hey, Squad, big fan of your channel, and it's amazing watching you guys grow so fast. Enjoy the sign, Garrett Hoyum from Minnesota. We appreciate that, Garrett. I love hey, it. I wonder hilarious. if that's like custom made or something. I never, what if you go like a store, you see Beware a Dog and a Beware of Cat sign? That is hilarious. Ooh, JDM. We got some Japanese. JDM. What dude. does that even stand for? That thing? I think it's a JDM sign, right? Is it? I don't know. This is like an arrow or something. Yo, check I don't this know. out. I don't know who sent that. But. Rhino USA sent us a heavy duty tire pressure gauge. Hold on to that. Don't oh open it up goodness. because we're going to have a mess already. Uh, heavy duty go ahead tire pressure this right gauge. quick. Mm. That is awesome. Hey, here's a tire pressure gauge from when you're at the track and need to drop the tire pressure for a little extra grip. And that some is... air fresheners for all the cars. Hope you can get some good use out of them from Deshaun Humbles. What? Deshaun, you hooked Deshaun, it up. Hooked it all up. right, we got some from Bailey, Athens. Uh, no, Bailey from Maryville, Tennessee. Looks like we got a banner. Let me read it first before I open it up. Definitely gonna use that. I love watching your videos. Enjoy watching you guys rebuild different cars. I started watching y'all back in the summer when y'all were doing the Hellcat, but my favorite is a Camaro build. I hope y'all like the wall dressing for the Camaro and keep up what you love doing. This is from Bailey and it says, don't say the last name. I'm not, I'm not good with it. You guys should already know that. Check but this look. out. Oh, you got something also? Oh, ba Bailey hooked Ooh. it up. Dude, we got too many things. Grab that side. All right, so this is Lamborghini. We got, Lamborghini. We got tons Grab of that side. Mm. Now that's a banner, dude. This is the first banner we ever had. Slap it on. Dude, that's, that's gonna sick. look sick. Bailey hooked it up. Oh, dude, that's that's awesome. It's the first banner we had. So Bailey, you sent the first banner. There's a, this is a Viper flag, I could already tell. We got a Viper Lambo flag. Who sent that one? Um, ooh, right here. Hey, guys, got my name is Steven Ross. Currently live in North Carolina. Thanks for the great content. Uh, congrats on the 1 million subscribers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Stephen Ross. We definitely appreciate the flags. We got so many of them, but I guess this place is going to be decked out. Ooh, look at this. What we got? 
Oh, dude, you know when we broke one of them Torx bits? A Nico Torx bit set. Dude, that is awesome. What does it say? We always break Torx bits around here. Hi, Goon Squad and Thomas. I'm a huge French fan of you and your work and all those nice, slick, and legit rebuilds you've done since the beginning. Thanks, Guillaume Bissom from France. We're definitely going to use this set. Appreciate it. So we got our, is this our last package? Are this we is the last piece of fan mail. Right, this is from American Flag Consumer Solutions on Facebook. So go, go check. No. Dude. No, dude. This is one of them that I've been seeing on Facebook. I might have actually seen their stuff. Let's pull this sucker out. Oh, America, baby. Oh my. America. Goon Squad. Dude, that is legit. That is what I'm talking about. Holy. Right there, American Flag and Concealment Solutions. Get you one of these, because these are absolutely Dude, sick. that's made out of wood, and that's uh, they polyed it, stained it. Is there any, is there a letter? No, I didn't, I didn't well, I'm gonna have to dig into here. Let's see. No letter, but hey, we appreciate it. Alrighty guys, so we appreciate all the love and support, all the fan mail, and we couldn't have done it without you. So with that being said, be sure to stay tuned for some more awesome content coming your way. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get the inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you want to support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace.